What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! How you doing? Well, if you saw the title of this video, you're probably here for a good reason. Or you just like to see me babble on about tools. One way or another, we're still going to have fun, no matter what. And make sure to hit that subscribe and like button if it's your first time. Because uh, we definitely appreciate it. Help support the channel. Just keep me going. Keep me, keep, keep me motivating. That's all I like to call it. Keep me motivating. Today, we have a little tool uh, gift from our friends, JD Tico. I know some of you are still on the fence because me and Nick had our differences. And honestly, it takes two people to be bigger about their differences and uh, move forward. And I like Nick. Nick's a good guy. He's just kind of uh, in your face right at first. And sometimes people say that about me. But at the end of the day, once you get to know somebody and you see what they're all about, <clears throat> you can find some good in them. And not only that, Nick listens a lot better than any other tool guy out there on the planet today. And what I mean by listen is, is that he's willing to take advice or not even just advice, but uh, take opinions and roll with it and and form you know like he's he's willing to listen and he's willing to work on finding better ground i think nick has an opportunity really in my opinion not trying to just uh blow the guy up but i think in his in my opinion nick has the opportunity to be probably one of the best guys in the united states because he's willing to listen to us little guys and when i mean us little guys that's doesn't matter about youtube numbers at the end of the day it matters about what's going on behind the scenes and i'm not the foremost expert on every diagnostic repair out there but uh these little guys right here i i specifically and i i, I encourage nick to tell people that i actually told him i said i i'm not too sure that i'm interested in these because uh i i'm a very um what's the word here i'm always searching for words but uh the word is uh very staunch when it comes i'm very uh particular that's what i'm looking for very particular when it comes to looking at uh, connections but i haven't opened these but i have a good feeling i don't need to open these to tell you first two things was i was actually going to put these in my car these are the flexible probes let's go ahead and open these up as much as it pains me we're going to use the mora and this thing is the slicer and dicer i'm going to leave these in the package like this just because this is what i like to do with my connectors um we're going to give that a little slice just a little slice with the more and i think it went all the way through the freaking cardboard even that knife is so ridiculous and why did i oh didn't quite get it why am i leaving them in the package like this well first it's just because these are freaking hard to uh they're, they're a pain in the butt i'll probably put them in the ca this case and we're going to talk about the sg tool aid sg um manufacturers we're going to talk about that and show you these versus these because i think that people will be kind of surprised um let's pull them open here got them open get them out now if you're if you're doing that electrical diagnostic testing um these are kind of nice i like this right here because uh, a lot of times you're pulling them and pushing on them the pot i can tell you right off the bat without even testing without even looking at these before they're already um, something that I'm pretty happy to have. These are very flexible, very pliable. They're not going to be cheap and and break down on you quickly. And let me just tell you, tell you, show you what I mean by that. So I have these SG ones, uh, Tool Aid, and uh, you see I use these and they kind of get a bend in them. But here's the best part: cheap, just cheap garbage connectors. Um, and, and I've actually cut these down. Um, if you look at the end here, I've cut these down to try to hold them on better. See the side? You can see I whacked them down a little bit because it we didn't want to stay on. These things that piss me off. Uh, cheap set. You buy them for 20 bucks. But pin probes are always back probing stuff. Let's open up the other ones here. See if I can do a little better job. Like I said, I'm going to leave these in here now just to keep them separated. Because I want the good ones separated from the crap ones uh, until I figure out a better storage solution for these and uh, I haven't used these yet but I will use them which will be you know this is just basically a general unboxing kind of talking about them 
Let's look at the differences of these versus these. Right off the bat, obviously I have one broken one. So let me see if I can find another straight one, which I probably don't have because I probably lost it. I don't even know. It only comes with one straight. That's the other thing is I use straight ones. We'll just lose the black one, <laughs> which I bent the tip on the black one. Um, gotta say, Nick, um, hopefully these hold up better than these did because after a couple uses, they look like they're pretty much about the same thing. Um, hopefully I don't have near the problems I did with these separating. I literally hate these. Um, something that I, I mean, this is what happens when you go to put them together. These cheap ones, they separate. <laughs> So, uh, not too, not too thrilled about them. So these probes, uh, they look a little bit, they look very similar. Hopefully they're better built. The inside, um, I mean, they're not much to them, but this is what's frustrating about them is they make them a two piece deal like there. And I wish they would have molded them. And these are two piece too. So when you're going, when you're, well, the problem is, is what I have is when I'm pushing onto these, for some reason, the glue releases in them, and then they pop these out. So, uh, Nick, I will definitely be reporting back to you and letting you know um, if these things hold up better than these. Um, you know, kind of looking, kind of looking forward. But the uh, the flexible ones, I'm gonna go ahead and. I, I mean, I can already tell it. It's not even the same context. The rubber on these are way better, uh, and I like the flexibility of them. That's why they always get bent because you're pulling around. I mean, you're, we're we're not <laughs> we're not surgeons, okay? We're we're technicians, so we're pulling around them. I really like these. These are definitely worth the money. I would definitely not be scared to get these. I think these will definitely hold up, and they're they look like they're not uh, put together. They're gonna hold up. Pull on them. I'm gonna stab myself if I don't. I'm sure these things are. Yeah, these things are sharp. So yeah. Uh, the straight ones, I'm on the fence on. I'll tell you that right now. In fact, one of the caps is missing on that. Two of the caps are missing. Did I dump those out? Who knows? Anyways, the SNG tool, I, I'm not happy with this kit. $20 for this kit, and I got to tell you, uh, I don't like these pin probes. We're going to kind of go over some more and talk about some more different ones, but so far I'm pretty happy with the flexible ones right here, just looking at these. I will be using these right away, and I'm pretty sure that... Uh, They'll make out pretty good, so definitely worth the money. Next thing we got is the uh, fully insulated piercing probes, and we're going to talk about, I apologize for this taking on a little bit quicker. We don't have to worry about these ones so much. Let's take a look at these bad boys here, um, see how they how they look. These are Cat 3 rated. Um, looks like, see if they got a self-centering option. One thing about uh, probes that I don't like is they don't have a self-centering option. So if you look inside of here, and what I mean by self-centering, which I brought an example, and I'll show you my favorite probes for piercing, and that's the Pomoma style. Okay, so these are my favorite ones. Now, if you look at this, when I pull this pin back, and you see how it's got the crease in there, it sets that wire down in there, and then I can push this back, and it lets it pierce it. Whereas this one's just kind of, I'm not, but I will tell you the one thing about these is, is the difference in length. I haven't found very many, when you got to get down somewhere and you got a wire that's out of the way, you don't have much of a choice. So these will definitely be worth the money. I mean, they're quick. I, I do like to have a nice grip to them and whatnot. Uh, we're going to try these out. I think these will be all right. I have several different kinds of probes. We'll talk about some cheap versions. I bought this kit. Um, this is from e Electronic Specialties. And I use these pin connectors uh, like this when they have different sets. These are pretty much my go-to. Uh, not these ones specifically, but this style of connectors is my go-to. Um, and I'll show you the ones I use. But I bought this kit and I wasn't too happy with it. They're not very pliable. And I, I got to tell you, with electronic testing, the number one thing that I have a problem with is why I don't like cheap connectors is because they're not very pliable. Working with a lot of small wires and whatnot, it's hard to get into places. In fact, for years, I used this. This is a Kentmore rebrand from Mac, and uh, I got a smoking deal on this, but these are 
uh, pin probes that are flexible. I really like these, and that's why you'll you, you heard me say I like the flexible ones. But they're nice, and these are gonna have a spring inside of them. This kit is not cheap, however, though. You're not gonna be able to buy this for anything less than two hundred dollars. Um, the part number is a thirty-five. 65m but it's a kent moore number mac otc whatnot but i've had that kit forever i actually picked that up at a garage sale for 65 dollars which i could easily sell it for double that right now my favorite kit though however is the aes wave and that's because this thing has everything this is the mecca of electronic testing so you know i mean it's pretty hard for me to um and a lot of guys you'll see on youtube use this kit it's an all-in-one kit We'll look at the wire piercer in this compared to the JT Tico and talk about the things that I don't like about this that I do like about the JD Tico. Um, for one, this is not a this is not a very friendly tool to use because it has a screw adjustment on it. So these are a lot nicer for that aspect because I can spring load them, hook the wire, and uh, pull it in. These kind of the ends on these are nice because they they spread through the wire, so to speak, and then you get in there and then you can hook the wire and pull it in, and drop it in. Where these things are just, see if I can get this thing. You have to twist it down on it. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see that in there or not. Yeah, see the pin. So you'll see the pin. You have to screw it and get it all in there and hook the wire all at the same time. They're just. One thing, even though that kit's a great kit, it doesn't come with a great long piercer like this, which these are really nice. I just wished they had a set of long ones, which maybe I have, maybe they do, and maybe some of you guys know that have the self-centering option. These are by far, these are actually, I believe, uh, Fluke or Electronic Specialties. Pomoma builds the same exact ones. There, there's a couple different ones out there, but this is nice because you just snap it down, grab it here. You can adjust your tension right there. Your little piercer comes out. Now, one thing I will say, I don't go and intentionally try to pierce wires. But, uh, you know, sometimes you have to. And I've heard uh, Nick say it on his channel. It's Sometimes it's unavoidable. That's why we have li liquid electrical tape. And that's how you remedy that when you are piercing a wire by all means necessary. If not, replacing the whole thing. And putting a new wire in. Sometimes it requires you to replace the whole harness if you find that there's something bad enough. And I have gone through that before. So I replaced harness and Jeeps, uh, several different vehicles, front to back. Um, I'm a pretty big, pretty picky person when it comes to leads. And I believe that the only leads that I like uh, are Fluke. I use Fluke leads on everything I have. Um, I love these alligator clips. They are 100% Fluke leads. The difference you can tell immediately, and some of you guys will probably concur with this, versus cheap leads is, is that the pliability of them and the durability of them is just all together better. These alligator clips are way nicer. Um, I'm just picky about this, especially when you're working on somebody's car where you're doing this type of delicate work with computers. You know, it's pretty easy to screw stuff up. And if you have a piercer that is <clears throat> A, either overpowered or even something like this, which comes in a nice kit. And you're trying to use this, and you're poking this, poking this in there, and then you break that small um, communications wire, you're screwed. Um, and it's a it's a pain in the butt. You're gonna have to, you could potentially have to replace a whole harness for piercing that small little wire. So it is definitely important to have the right tool for the right job. Um, <clears throat> these have a very small piercer, and they come out more. See when you pull on the end there, and see if I can get that. So as soon as that wire comes down. They're, te they're technically kind of a self-centering because they use both V-notches. And then once it gets down the wire, it obviously pushes in there. Uh, but I have noticed with some of these, sometimes you have to kind of push on the end. <clears throat> Still better than this, though. So I appreciate uh, Nick sending me all that. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of information out of this that uh, will help you out if you're doing electronic diagnostics. But... Uh, Little JD Tico tool haul and uh, my spin, and hopefully Nick uh, gets some. You know he can see some stuff on this. So maybe uh, Nick, if you can get these, buddy, I'm telling you, uh, these are the, these are the in most diagnostics guys toolbox. These are top priority number one. Um, I have two sets of them. Uh, 
black, I have two sets of these. Uh, honestly, a lot of times I'll you know you can hook up four at a time, depending on what you're testing. But uh, definitely the way to go. But I appreciate it. I think for the most part, two out of the four of these, I'm really happy with. We're gonna test out the th third batch of these, giving my honest opinion and seeing if I like those as much as I do, or like these better than the Tool Aid and they hold up better because these things are not that great. But anyways, guys. Appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.